Hey everybody, welcome back to the Gamer Trials. Now, Monster Hunter has been out for a couple months now, and pretty much has shipped over 7.5 million copies worldwide. This has been the most copies shipped by Capcom in their history. And to celebrate their success, I'm going to be counting down the top 5 monsters that pretty much fucked you up. And uh, as always, leave a like and comment your top 5, and if you haven't already, subscribe. So, here we go. And may the sapphire star light your way. Teostra isn't that much of a bad fight if you are familiar with his moves back in the previous Monster Hunter games, but if you have not fought him at all or never played a Monster Hunter game in your life, you might have had a fight that went a little like this. Now, Teostra in previous Monster Hunter games have had Blast Blight effect particles whenever you'd fight him. He'd summon them around him, he'd blow it at you, and blow them up at his own will, making it hard for you to get close and personal with him. Oh wait, he kinda has something like this in Monster Hunter World, but it's not Blast Blight, it's Fire Blight. It's pretty much the same thing, it just explodes, but he only summons it when he dashes, that I've seen, actually. And it just leaves you burned and... If you don't resist, you're just gonna get chip damage. But I recommend bringing a fire mantle. But I was surprised when he hit me hard, and here's something you should know. If you get comboed, and if you are caught with your pants down in the middle, you're gonna have a nice face full of fire nova just explode all over your Kaluminati body, my guy. You're as good as dead, my friend. That is considered rape up to that point. You just witnessed your avatar get fire fucked by an elder dragon and you'll find yourself frozen and shook looking up at the screen wondering what the fuck happened. Am I living my life the right way? Should I talk to that girl that's across the street from me? What is going on with my brain? Well, Teostra mind fucked you and he kind of made you into his little bitch. So that's what happened. If a stealth bomber in an AC-130 had a 4-way with a Brachidios and a fat dragon, it would look like this. Yeah, this motherfucker does not play around. Let's just start off by saying that the little fucking testicle looking bombs that come off his tail and his chin are just a f- Mmm, they're just a delight. They're a delight. When fighting this thing, it requires you to wear a fire mantle 100% of the time, but that is impossible because mantles have a time limit, or until, you know, you get fucking shit on a, a whole bunch of times and it just breaks. If you want to get close and personal with this monster, you won't. You just won't. Because he's going to drop these little testicle looking bombs down on you and then explode them. Oh yeah, and here's the kicker. When he does drop them unexpectedly, and you start swinging your long sword or your great sword around, you're gonna get blown up. And if that's not bad enough, let's say you get staggered, or as I call the dizzies, you'll get locked into an endless barrage of explosions, attacks, tackles, just endless amounts of attacks. But the thing that makes this fight a hassle is that he flies around and drops these things not once not twice but three times three fucking times like that's not enough little testicles on the fucking field and then guess what he goddamn kamikazes all the way down and explodes them 
and he sets them up in a way where it's a domino effect. So if you try to escape, the fires of hell are just gonna catch up to you and explode. The funny part is that we're only number 4 on the list and we are already getting fucked by these monsters. So I really don't have anything else to say about Basil Geese or Basil Goose or Basil Juice. I think it's Basil Goose. But just one thing. Fuck those stupid testicle bombs. That is all. Nergigante is one of the first Elder Dragons you fight in Monster Hunter World in high rank. And needless to say, it's actually the most scariest one of them all. But if his looks don't scare you, then I'm pretty sure these next couple clips will have you running for the forest and hills. Now, do you see what I mean? I cannot for the life of me figure out why Capcom made him such a brutal Elder Dragon. So, so scary, and yet his moves just frighten you even more because it just ends up hitting you over and over and over again. He has a lot of long reach attacks, which is kind of annoying. But, as I was saying, his moves are pretty terrifying even more terrifying than the way he looks. And especially when he's enraged that there's this one set of moves where he would fly up, kamikaze his way down onto your fucking anus, and then proceeds to shoulder bash you. But you think that's all, right? He's done. No, you get up, you look up, and you see that his fucking needles of death just come shooting out of his fucking spinal cord, ruining your whole day. And, my friend, you are dead. You don't have a second to fucking react. You're dead. Now, I have done a lot of calculating, and by calculating I mean I found this out literally a couple of days later when I first fought Nur Gigante when I was trying to get some gems, but I digress. I had 100% of my stamina bar ready, ready to go, because I knew he was going to fly up and just, you know, shoot his, his little ass down, kamikaze, shoulder bash me and shoot me with his fucking quills, right? I had 100% of my stamina ready to block my greatsword. I blocked all three hits, but when I looked at the footage of me fighting it the first time and blocking those hits, I had less than 25% of my stamina bar uh, depleted, so I had 75% left. And that is not enough for you to withstand those three hits. And that's why this thing is just completely broken. Those sets of moves, those three moves right there is insta-kill if you do not react or if you do not block all the hits. It is a 100% death in my opinion. I don't know if you guys have lived or whatever, but it's just insane how Nergigante just takes your life so quickly. He's very brutal. This motherfucker just does not play around, okay? You know, he fucks you up so bad, you're gonna call him fucking daddy. You're gonna have daddy issues left and right, my guy. I am not playing around. Nergigante, you are one bad motherfucker. The number two spot goes to Xenojiva. He is the last boss of the game, and he is one of the stronger Elder Dragons. But if you're not careful, he'll actually end up destroying you, and it's not pretty. He is slow, and he does deal chip damage towards you when he's hitting you with his claws. But all of that does add up, and if you're not careful, you'll end up getting hit by one of his dragon blasts and dying. The first time when I fought him, I was actually going solo, and 
Unfortunately, I was unprepared for what was about to unfold. I died a whole two times before I finally delivered the final blow in killing him. But what really killed me the most was his broken ass fucking AoE move from fucking hell. I can go on and on and on about how stupid that move is. N I mean, I fought it more and more times because now I have the full armor set, but god damn it, the first times fighting it, you're gonna just get fucked left and right. And if you're not careful, you will die and unfortunately fail the quest. That move is his stupid earth power explosion attacker, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. It's the only reason why he's up on this list. And for other reasons, but you really never know how much damage he's going to do until it's too late. But he'll really enjoy just chipping away your life bar and then delivering the final blow. I think he gets a kick out of that. And sometimes he does it with his earth power attack. Now this can totally be avoidable by blocking or by even just moving away from it. You have uh, a whole 5 seconds to run away, but I advise that you just block and not run away because that, that radius is extremely... And by extremely, I mean really big. Sometimes he just doesn't engrave his claws into the ground and creates this explosion. He just sometimes just lunges forward and then gets right back up. I think that's just a tease. But if you're rear <laughs> but if you're really unlucky and you get staggered in the middle of that blast attack, there is no coming back from that. You might as well just turn off your PS4 or Xbox. Just turn it off and go do something else. Go rethink your whole life. Because that is just a terrifying sight. There is just nothing but explosion just coming at you. And you're just going to be shook. But it's the fact that he has a move that affects all around his body. And he's a big boy, so the area of effect is enormous, and there's just no escape. So this is why Xenojiva is number two on this list. And if he wasn't such of a kind of a simple fight, he'd be number one. But unfortunately, we have something even more terrifying than Xenojiva. As I was writing this and reviewing Kieran's entry, I came to the realization that this fucking horse done diddly fucked me real good up to the point where I just decided that it was number one on this list because of not one, but two reasons. Two Two reasons why. I'm, I'm, I'm staying calm. I'm staying calm. This is actually the fifth time me doing this uh, take. But let's start off by saying that if you do have a thunderproof mantle, you are obligated to bring it. Bring it, I swear. People who don't bring thunder mantles when they're fighting Kirin are just begging to get dicked real fucking good. Anyways, it doesn't even matter if you resist. Curin. I have its full armor set, full high rank armor set, leveled up all the way to where my my defense is 500 plus, and I have 30, 30 plus resistant in thunder. I still get fucked real nice. It's it, it's really like annoying half of the time actually. You will die instantly, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I have died instantly, even if I'm like full on Thunder Mantle, 30 plus uh, Thunder Resistance, 500 plus defense. I'm pretty sure I've gotten done diddly dicked by one Thunderbolt and died. But the absolute most annoying part about fighting Kirin, and <laughs> wait, here's, here's the reason why, the main reason why I really fucking hate fighting it. 90% of the fucking time is the fact that it has the ability to paralyze you Paralyze you. This is why I'm saying bring the thunder mantles It will paralyze you and Then and then it it, it knows it's fucking you over because it, it it then hits you after you know You're done getting paralyzed on the floor hits you with its horns charges you again. That's hit number three BTW Hit four, you have the dizzies, my guy. I'm gonna calm down before I burst a fucking casket. 
you have the dizzies, right? And then all you see is him just wiggling his little fucking unicorn horn around, and then Zeus's fucking uh, thunderbolt from Jesus Christ's ass cheeks comes down and delivers the absolute dragon cock up your ass. But if that isn't bad enough, I'm pretty sure Kieran takes pleasure in doing all of this. I thought I was playing a different game than Monster Hunter. I thought I was playing Marvel vs. Capcom against freaking top tier fucking players. But no. But no. I get tossed left and right like a fucking inmate. It's, it, it's really bad. I feel like... I'm being violated. I feel like I'm being raped. And half of the times, it's like, when does the donkey punching stop? When? Do not Google it. Google it at your own risk as to what donkey punch means. I digress. I digress, ladies and gentlemen. I remember this one time where I just threw my controller. I just threw my controller because I was so fucking done. I was like, this thing just will not be the death of me and it really was like three times i actually failed a lot of these quests trying to get the full armor set and on that this is why it's number one because getting the kieran armor set was and always will be the worst experience of my entire 20 years of fucking living on this planet it was so bad like i remember me just 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 being idle for a good like 30 to 40 minutes just trying to think of what the fuck happened because it's shenanigans left and right but there's this one thing that makes this monster number one that kind of influenced it popping up a number or moving up in the countdown it's because it has a tempered wait What's that? No! 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 Thank you guys so much for watching this top 5 video. It really means a lot to me. And uh, a huge congrats to Capcom for having just the top selling game so far this year. And they have reached higher sales than ever before. Um, I do believe this is their top most selling game to date, so congrats to them. I love Monster Hunter with all of my heart, and unfortunately, this video took a lot longer for me to make. I had maybe this idea a month ago, and then maybe took me about two weeks to get the videos or the gameplay for each um, entry, and then... I started writing the script, I didn't like how the script was going, so I just rewrote, 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 and I ended up kind of just stopping for a little bit, and then I got all of the stuff in the Sony Vegas, started editing, and then I just stopped in the middle of just making the video for a couple of days, and then I hopped back into it, and now I'm finishing it, so a month's worth of editing and idea roamings and gameplay capturing and all of that stuff just procrastination basically so yeah anyways just a little inside on how this video was uh, made but uh yeah i really did enjoy it and hopefully you guys did too leave your top five actually down there in the comments let me know and as always just keep gaming my friends